Hey guys, welcome back. Another day, another video. This time, sitting in the jungle. I felt like the jungle vibes and honestly, most of the spaces were occupied. So I was looking for some peace and serenity. So today is the first day of the week here at Alma Maxil. We shift the weekend one day. I don't know why they do that. It's Sunday, Monday off and then Tuesday we start the week. Um, so this morning I felt very light when I woke up, but no, wait, <laughs> I felt actually really freaking heavy. I felt like a grandpa when I woke up, like my joints were hurting and um, I felt very unflexible. And so as I was sitting in a cross-legged position, getting ready for the yoga, I was like, wow, how did this happen? Like, what is going on? And then we started doing the yoga and I started to warm up a little bit and after that I felt really good and light. So yoga is a very transformative tool for whenever you feel stuck in your mind, whenever you feel stuck in your body. It's a great practice to, you know, open up open up your 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 muscles, to lengthen your muscles, to just feel healthy within your body it's it's really great tool it's super nice and i'm very grateful that i discovered this here in the retreat because it's yeah it really changes how you set up your day and you can do it in like 15 minutes or you can take an hour you know take as much time as you need and as you are permitted to take or able to take so after that i felt very light very happy um i was making good jokes in the in the breakfast table and there was just a good playful energy I really enjoyed it um, and then started to do, do daily tasks um, toilet cleaning I was calling my brother as I was cleaning the toilets it was a funny combination unfortunately the Wi-Fi here in the jungle is pretty bad so it's really difficult to have decent conversations with other people but hey you work with the tools you have right so that was um, a nice little light point in my day, talking to my brother. I have a very good relationship with my brother. I really like and respect and appreciate him. And I can feel that this respect and appreciation is being returned. So, yeah, very, very nice uh, conversation. It's always super nice to, I don't know, to share what is going on in our lives. And we are very open to each other and... You know, it's 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 super nice to 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 talk to my brother from time to time, and I wish we could spend some more time together um, because I'm traveling a lot, and he was uh, in Canada for one year, so we didn't speak too often, too much these past years even. And I would like to organize something where we would go somewhere in nature together for a week or so and take a tent and just you know be two brothers in nature somewhere <laughs> that sounds like something super cool so um yeah i definitely want to make that a reality um but i'm sure we will we will make it work i will suggest it i already suggested it and he was very excited about that so um yeah this is definitely something that that i want to do in the near very near future and then um for some reason my energy kind of like dropped after that and then I don't know I was not feeling too well but it goes like this you know in waves it's it's never it's never one straight excited exciting great line and it goes in waves and that's fine right because now again I feel I feel very good I feel fresh I feel you know accomplished i had nice conversations good vibes good energy so it's it's really like that and it's okay you know people's people's lives your life might go in ups and downs too and that's totally fine you know it's it's part of it's part of how we how we are in a way um so one other thing that i was thinking about today which i wanted to to share here is is the is another kind of realization of community living and that is that sometimes i had difficulties with first impressions because people are so quick to judge right and when you meet someone new and you're having an off day or whatever and then they have this impression of you that you're maybe like a, a moody person or a negative person or an angry person or whatever person they think you might be right based on 
this kind of like first impression. And then after that, you spend a few hours and you part ways and they have this idea in their minds that you might be, I don't know, a grumpy person or something, you know? And I had difficulties with that because I had a hard time letting go of the fact that people judge so quickly and I knew that if you would spend some more time together, that probably their their opinion might change. And from my perspective, same thing, you know? I can sometimes judge someone super fast and and be like oh i don't like this person but there is simply hasn't been enough time to get to know this person all right and so here in community there has been a few people that i initially felt this this resistance to like i don't like you you have a i don't like your face i don't like the way you carry yourself i don't like the things you say and and, and then i start to think but why why is this and then I start to realize, okay, these people remind me of other people that I had a very bad relationship with or, or that we just didn't click, right? So I kind of like project this other people's traits onto these people because they look similar and they carry themselves similarly. But of course, they're not the same people, right? So thinking about that made me realize that, okay, let me, let me try to see these people as someone completely new again from a start and not project these these assumptions almost onto them right and there is this one powerful tool that i love to use and that i actually use like twice already here and it's a loving kindness meditation it's meta meditation it's called and it's basically you just first focusing on a person you love you deeply love usually it's my brother and then i i can bring this feeling to my body where where I focus on what it feels like to to love someone to wish well upon someone okay it's easy to wish well upon my brother of course I want him to be happy of course I want him to be free of suffering okay and you start to meditate on this person so bring a person to mind that it's easy for you to love to to feel love and generosity towards compassion towards bring this person to mind and then focus on what it feels like within your body and then after you bathe it in this feeling, when you feel really warm inside and, and it's easy to, to radiate compassion and, and, and kind thoughts towards this person that you love, in my case again, usually it's my brother, then you can switch to a neutral person, somebody that you maybe met on the bus or somebody you talk to in the grocery store. And you can also again wish them well, you think in your mind, may you be well may you be happy may you be free from suffering may you experience deep friendships good intentions send them good intentions and then the last step in the meta meditation you can either choose yourself or you can choose someone you have a difficult relationship with and i brought to mind people that i kind of disliked here initially and after i did this meditation my intentions for them became so much different I saw them in a different light I wished well upon them and then automatically my behavior towards them changed in a way right there's so much subconscious communication if you dislike someone there is subtle things in your body language that show that you dislike this person like, you know you don't necessarily have to say it right your your body language shows or the tone in your voice etc okay but after doing this meditation I wished well upon these people and I in my in my interactions i was kinder i was more compassionate and they respond to that they open up they become more kind themselves and this is such a profound realization because the, the way you treat people is absolutely reflected in how they treat you yeah it's like a mirror okay so if you ever have a difficult relationship with with someone try this meta meditation look it up meta loving kindness meditation try this meditation on them and then see if you can cultivate a different approach a different perspective to who they are and wish them well and treat them as such treat them as someone you love and you will be amazed by how they will respond to that and how your perception changes of maybe they have an angry face and you take it personally or you interpret it a certain way and now you do no you no longer do that right and that way you can 
establish a completely new relationship with, with someone. And this is what happened here for me. And that's the beauty of this community living because you have the time to do that, okay? If I would have only met these people once or twice for a few hours, I would probably have stayed with that judgment. I would probably have stayed with that, that, that you know, that tense feeling, that resistance. But since we lived together for such a long time, I have the time to think about this. I have the time to do these meditations and then see the relationship change. And now some of the people that I initially really didn't like that much, they are the closest to me. And, and we, we have such a good time together. So it's a beautiful experience of how a relationship can change according to how you change your perspective, how you change your approach to these people. So practice loving kindness, be kind to everyone, including yourself, and you'll find your relationships transform, really transform, literally transform. So that is, this is something I really wanted to share because it was a very profound experience for me. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave you with this. I feel super excited about what is going on here. I feel good. This evening it's a beautiful day even though I woke up a little bit meh, and then in the afternoon I was again a little bit meh, I feel very yes now so that's great and um, I want to thank you guys for your attention I'll talk to you very very soon and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video